Hello and welcome back to another episode of um, Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and this is the permadeath run of Hamza, Cursed of Debella. Hamza is trying to get rid of Ayla because she is following him around way too much. So we have a bone to pick uh, with uh, the uh, hunters at Gallows Rock. Last time they were too strong, we needed to retreat and come back. Now we're sufficiently strong and with our new Orcish Axe, we might be able to actually pull it off. Alright guys, wish me luck. As always, uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Here we go. Good, we've been here one time. And it was less than pleasant. We really didn't get much done. Let's hope we can do better this time. There's a one isn't there. Thought so. Nobody we know by the smell. Some can't separate animal from themselves. Go fair. This poor saw. Oh, I remember this part. This guy doesn't deal enough damage. He, on the other hand, might be a problem. I'll show you a real fight. What? Is he really focusing on her? Well, too bad for you. All right, two down. Let's deal with the rest. Can't yet cast another spell. I would love to not trigger too many. Apparently we're fine. Well, these guys here are low level and they do not necessarily have great equipment, so yeah, that's not a big problem for us. I was more afraid uh, of the full plate uh, steel armor wielding ones. Yeah, we don't need marksmanship. I think we're okay for now. Might need some magic resistance to deal with that stupid poison. Okay, so one down. Two and three down. And with more power attack in the future, might as well be able to one-shot some of the higher level enemies. The combo is super solid. I love it. We hit two out of four, and the fight essentially was over right then and then. 
I think the build itself could benefit from conjuration, but that would make it too much of a caster build, so I won't go into that direction. But since we have decided to not pick any um, companion, there's definitely a disadvantage. All right, so even more funds. Fantastic, good. Let's break open the lock. Amulet of Senator. Magicka feigned. Okay, cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. My memory served me well. There was a remarkable healing potion here. They might have taken it out. Certainly becoming greedy again with all of that carrying stuff. Let's uh, drink away a few of the potions that we will not need. One-handed weapon, heal book. Oh, okay, that's where they put it. Another amulet. I think I can get all of the stuff at the end of the dungeon. Got some fortify carry weight. We're good. We're good. Another skill book. We're getting close now. Be careful. Their leader is a tricky one. Okay, this one was a nasty, nasty. Right, so resist magic to get uh, to increase the poison resist. I think par paralysis still uh, has to deal with resist magic and with high enough resist magic. I'm hoping that we are not getting paralyzed. That's my biggest concern at the moment. We got a surpassing and a surpassing. <laughs> This guy definitely is high level and perked. But since we were able to just get every single one of them with a nice stun. Okay, Ooh, that was a well aimed stun. Every single one of them is gone. And I didn't even need the magic resist. Not sure if it would have worked anyways. Potentially one of uh, the experts in 3BF Tweaks is able to answer the question. I think it should have at least increased the chance to resist, but I might be completely wrong. Okay, thought that was a skill book. Alright, this guy died 
so far away that we can't even loot him anymore. Whew, finally. He was one of the strongest we had, but numbers can overwhelm. He should not have come without a shield brother. Get out of here. I'm going to make sure we got the last of them and see if there's any information to be gotten from the bodies. You and I have work to do. The silver hand will tremble at our sight. Well, Ayla, it was The silver hand. One group has hit. Get it back. For the An absolute pleasure the working with you. I'm going to Wolf armor. Hmm. If that was enchanted properly, I think that would be quite good. Wait a second. Okay, good. So, sorry for that phone call, but sometimes it is what it is. Nice. Not to say fantastic. Wow, well, that was a massive dungeon and a lot of loot. Let's shortly level up what we can. So, we wanted to get uh, two-handed and heavy armor really further up. I'm seeing that we could get two-handed in one swoop to 50. Might as well do that now. It'll also give us a level. And then afterwards we can go with heavy armor. Good, we're getting closer to that level 50 of heavy armor. And frankly speaking, we need more magicka for now. I think we even got two levels. Hmm. I think we're also going health. Getting to 300. Just being able to like parry a few more of the heavier attacks would be helpful. Great. So, in terms of our options here, battle adds X focus 2. Now uh, gives us 20 armor penetration and I think plus 15% damage or 20% damage with battle axes. The next one is 30 and 30, but we'll need 75. So that's already pushing it. Power attacks, 20% uh, more damage. That is great. I'm seldomly doing the sideway cleaves, uh, so that's just kind of an extra skill text or perk text. But this, on the other hand, is great. And the, the last two, of course, are phenomenal, but I don't think that Hamza will ever see that far into the tree. Cool. Nice, our damage output should be much, much better now. We definitely need smithing uh, next two perks. Well, there we go. Again, the problems with too many things that you would want. I definitely would want that one here, my elemental nullification, because it is so, so helpful. So elemental nullification, that would be great. Then in terms of smithing, I think being able to temper our weapons would be helpful. So maybe that Nordic perk. Maybe going for, that would be greedy going for legendary because we do not have uh, the uh, battle axe yet. Enchanting would be helpful to recover soul gems. Yeah, and then, then of course, the one for lockpicking. So we still have the same uh, candidates that we had before. We're now up to level 14. Ea is finally gone, and we are left to our own devices. 
which means next stop is uh, Bleak Falls Barrow. Right here we come. All right, we do a little detour this time. We continued our unearthed quest and we gave uh, this guy here, Relis Sedaris, a thousand gold pieces, but now all of the miners are dead. And of course, it's the fault of a couple of Draugr, uh, which means we now need to go in and uh, clear out the dungeon. Won't be a huge dungeon, but it will be one that is worthwhile clearing because it has a great armor at the end uh, once we're completely done with it. Let's use some potato soup and give it a go. Good, finally we are on our own again. Good, Draugrs are still hitting, relatively speaking, hard. We should not underestimate them. Good, do we have a magic potion? Yes, we do. Okay, we can't wait that out. All right, I'm not afraid of uh, the normal droggers. But this guy is a problem. Hmm. As you can see, they still hit very hard. Okay, uh, let's get this one going and remarkable. Time for surpassing. Don't want to die here. Not the smoothest uh, fight I've ever had. Ooh, and we needed to use the surpassing. Not good. That's the only instant heal potion there is. And we just lost it to a couple of draugers. Well, better than dying, I suppose. Certainly don't need that Nord shield. What, he's just attacking with his bare hands? Oh boy, that was closer than I wish it would have been. Much closer than comfort. Let's get some loot and see if we I can purchase another surpassing one. Just having that backup is helpful. I did not want to have the skull, I just wanted to move it. still a little bit low. I think the suggested level for this one here in Skyrim is 30. But here's the first part of uh, the set. Azilda's Boots of Water Walking. We'll get four. 
Increases stamina, grants the ability to walk on water and facilitate uh, casting spells. Pretty damn good boots. And I think they are also comparably light, right? Or as opposed to 11. I mean, I like the Nordic ones, but they have great armor and are super light. Good. Unfortunately, we will need to invest more money into this. And be a bit more careful going hey, forward. Lord. Well, perhaps there's some. Now, we'll have to sweeten the pot a bit. I well, there you go. It'll take me a few days to dig up some more. All right. That concludes this part here. All right, welcome back to another episode of Requiem. Uh, We're still in the same episode, actually, I should uh, clarify. Um, I did, in between uh, the sessions, I did a bit of a reconciliation, and I figured out I can do the shouts even without the dragon souls needed. So look at this. We got a nice little disarm shout. I use the console command uh, for that because I don't want this character to be the dragonborn. I, matter of fact, just want them uh, to be a normal guy who spent time in training. So what I did in between uh, last session of me playing and uh, you watching is basically dumping money from our money stash, 2,500 gold pieces, and getting the first iteration of getting the first iteration of that shout which in case you're not aware of disarms enemies uh, that's a good one to learn some disenchanting from Good. Bleak Four Barrows, one of uh, the all-time classics in uh, Skyrim. Super easy dungeon if you're starting out, and very memorable dungeon. Mind you, it is only super easy in uh, the normal Skyrim. How are we going about that? Let's uh, get some magic resistance and to be honest I know we can get that one later fireball poison of paralysis so it's not very easy in Requiem they nicely changed it specifically the last room is going to be really really difficult but it's gonna be fun so let's see we have a spider up ahead we need the scroll later uh, poison of paralysis works on droggers as well and we might want to use it you know what why not now the spider actually is a bit of a nuisance and if I don't want to cheese it I need to actually fight it. Alright, we need a portion of cleansing here. I don't want to be paralyzed. Good, that costs us a few buffs, but overall that's well worth it. So regaining the buffs, regaining the food. Let's search uh, the spider again. I don't really need any of uh, those.
From now on we are likely fighting a couple of undeads. Let's get Shadow Shield up. Down before anything else shows up. Yes, the group. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Alright, we knew he would betray us. So, might as well take uh, the uh, claw. And from here on onwards, it's Draugr time. Yeah, I'll loot later. Plus, we're at our carry limit. didn't go very well wow that didn't go very well at all just moved right into the power attack Good. we need some more uh, delicate healing let's go with a good potion and I want to kite them properly Well, we are more tanky, but we definitely should not be walking into a power attack like this. Okay, well, not the most elegant fight. We certainly need to do better when we're fighting these guys. Why am I even collecting bone meal? Not needed. Okay, so we can kill them fast. We got our silver lined uh, battle axe ready, but they can also kill us rather fast. One way of quote unquote cheesing this is just using the trap here. It's right there, essentially springing that open over and over. We might be using that for some of them. But this here is still warm up. Why did I get hit? Well, my disarm shout certainly sucks so far. Not strong enough for Draugrs. Would have been cool to disarm them.
using the slightly higher range of my weapon to out uh, range him. Not perfect, could have done that better. Luckily for us, uh, the long hallways here are quite forgiving. And I just remembered we did have lucid dreams, so why haven't I been using that one? Bummer. Well, that's what you get when you're not playing a build for a while. Okay, good, cool. So far, so good. We're still alive. We got the claw. The lucid dreams immediately backfired, didn't they? First of all, Ice Wrath Essence. Second of all, good healing potion. Thirdly, run. Well, are you stuck? No, you are not stuck. Okay, Shadow Shield just went off, but I think we are okay. Our innate frost resistance worked out very well. We are a little bit low on mana. I potentially need Shadow Shield back for now. I'm fine. And why the hell did you guys re-enable that? One way of doing that better, I think, is I could have rushed for the Frost Draugr, although I would have been in the middle of Draugrs. They are an absolute bane. If you get bum-rushed by them, like uh, straight in your uh, face, and they start uh, using the Frost Breath, then really all you can do is try to out-DPS uh, them or have a lot of magic resistance. You're most certainly not running away. Hmm. 
Okay, we're getting deeper into the cave now. So far everything normal, but uh, there will still be the grand finale, another scroll of fireball, that's actually quite helpful. Time to get shadow shield back up, as you can see it gives us vital armor. For someone who is movement impaired like I am in this game, that is helpful. In all uh, honesty, I'm really enjoying this build. Hamza has come alive and I hope I can keep him just a little bit more alive. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a chest down here. Unfortunately with crappy loot. Good. So, we are almost at the grand finale. Which, considering how well I did with the rest, might be the last finale that we're seeing, but it would be a fitting death for Hamza. Exploring runes. Just got a shout, could disarm a single soul, because I think he, I can currently disarm up to level 18. So maybe this guy... no. Not happening. Not happening. Lots and lots of decent loot here. Good. Time for Hamza to go through the last few bits of this dungeon. So the power attack still is threatening. Look at that, 570 hit points worth of damage. Our own power attack would kill us right away, even if we blocked it. Granted, that includes bonus damage against undeads with a silver weapon. But boy oh boy, that's a threatening attack. Good. The last rooms will be a bit more difficult. Last I checked, we had uh, about 20 to 30 draugers in there. So, let's try to be careful. I know I'm saying that a lot in this run, but I actually mean it. Okay, we pulled only two apparently. Well, I am going to take that as a win. Down, pull three, but nonetheless, 
feel good. Thanks to our lucid dreams, we uh, can disable two of them right away. And the third one is easy pickings with a power attack. The archers can hit, but not as hard as the others in melee. Okay, Whew. so far so good. I tell you what, that definitely looks like fireball to me. Drinking uh, some of that and some nothing else. Gotta try to kill the archers fast so that we can get to the others. But not so fast that we're going to die. Apparently not a good idea. Gotta move back again. Shadow Shield is almost due to expire. Stairs aren't too bad for us, because the Draugrs have the tendency to block each other on the staircase. Okay, so that was fighting like six of them at once. Running a little bit on re uh, low on resources, I fear. And I learned an, a very important lesson. Our nightmare spray has a limited range. I thought I would be super smart and get the best nightmare spray in this entire playthrough hitting like all of them whilst they were on the stairs but I needed to be closer to hit more the two of them that I hit though are still alive well and alive, and they moved back. Well, I tell you what, if I can get you as a single, I'm taking that. Oh, can already hear the shout. And sort of be hit.
Okay, unfortunately, our bots are running out. The dungeon has been a bit too long. Or, in other words, Saiken has been a bit too slow. This is one of uh, these areas where we might want to single pull them as well. Still six, seven up there. Luckily for us, uh, the Draugr archers have a tendency to go for melee combat. Come on. Well, now we have a whole heap of them. I think three we can handle. Just gotta be a bit careful not to uh, get hit by too many arrows. Fantastic, that one was a winner. Damn it, these guys have 800 hit points. And I come in with my meager 200 something. Okay, in terms of healing, we're running dangerously low. I want to preserve some magicka for the final boss. He does have a nasty shout, so... We better do not get hit at all. And put some resist magic up because uh, that also helps against shouts. Cool. Regular dungeon time over. And now we're going into overtime against the boss. Definitely going to use that one here. Won't take Frenzy, that really doesn't add anything. It's a good poison, but we would have needed it much earlier. Well, look at you. Good. Potion of Magic resist. Get the shout. And we, he missed. Fantastic. Yes, it affects him. So good. Whew. That could have gone the other way just in a heartbeat. Uh, I'm not going to take the dragon stone because I don't want the dragon born. Uh, quest. It'll just lay here. I don't need the shout either. This was just a normal dungeon for us. 
great ring. And if my memory serves me well, there was one more chest somewhere, but I can figure that out. Let's go for the fun part, which is increasing our skills. We are going to save greater points slowly but surely. Let's take a look at our overall skills. We're level 14. Rest Restoration has an advantage. Right here, Focused Mind is free Magicka. Running no longer drains Magicka, which is great. And here we would have another Magicka boost plus uh, less magicka when we get stuck. I'm thinking that we should do that. Secondly, I also did my research and we do not need to go into into um, lock picking because I figured there are uh, master keys that you can uh, buy from blacksmith and we're going to buy one. It's going to cost us 800 or 1000 uh, gold pieces to get one for expert but that frees up a perk for us which means the only perks that we need really is uh, mm, uh, one point in enchanting to refill our weapons so that would be helpful um, illusion 60 would definitely be an attractive uh, source restoration would be an attractive source to uh, 50 smithing for later heavy armor to 65 to get uh, the higher casting level and to 50 in order to get the magic resistance and i tell you what i think we are taking this one next magic resistance and then we're off to illusion 65 uh, plus uh, restoration 50 i think this here requires 50 is that correct yeah okay so a uh, bit of uh, theory crafting uh, there what are we going to do in reality warrior skills uh, we wanted to do heavy armor and get that one up to fifty very good and mage skills illusion let's invest in illusion up to fifty so that I can use the greater points afterwards um, and increase that a little bit we're very close no we're actually at a level um speech is already 25 yeah lock picking we could have simply used as a means of getting some more levels that's okay and might as well put a few points in enchanting uh, it doesn't until 25 points uh, it's five uh, of those points for a skill point so there's actually an a logic in putting up a couple of skills to 25 even if you don't uh, use them in order to increase your maximum level because every level um, besides offering you nice little extra uh, perks will give you a little bit of hit points a little bit of magicka a little bit of stamina and a little bit of magic resistance up to level 21 where the game considers you to be yeah, a grown-up adventurer i suppose so in terms of perks I would love to get the next one in illusion magic and also the next one in heavy armor. Those two perks definitely make sense. But I tell you what, um, we have maybe five more levels before the companion quest is over, like one in two handed. One, two, three in restoration. And one in illusion. That's already five. Maybe when we're pu if you're pushing it and grinding a bit, we can get to level 21. If we don't die beforehand. Um, how about for now? We're starting to go into that focus mind uh, route. 
Enhanced Constitution on Self is good for extra hit points, another buff. And Funeral Rites is a spell that typically the Atronachs uh, are using. Atronach is one of uh, the uh, birth signs that will give you massive mana, I think 600 additional mana, but you cannot regenerate mana. And Funeral Rites allows you to cast on enemies. Uh, dissolve their corpses but you get mana back for us it will be helpful because we are actually struggling a bit with mana so that's not a bad spell uh, to have in our ranks might as well put that and that up into our uh, hot uh, hot bar so let's go with uh, mm, Funeral rights and I want to double check what cons this arm constitution does for ourselves. Plus, might as well use funeral rights just to show you and also find out how it works. So, very nice. You can see we got some mana out of it. slightly net positive enhanced constitution before we do that we're currently at 273 hit points and with it we are at 273 hit points what um custom magically enhances vitality oh 30 poison resistance and stamina my bad Saiken, so you should learn to read the spells. Well, extra stamina is good, and that's definitely a spell for fighting the Forsworn, because 30 cons uh, poison uh, resistance is nothing to be scoffed at. Which brings us to the end of today's episode. Uh, if you want to do a Fuzora, shout at the like button. I would appreciate it. Uh, you might learn a new word from it, which is gratefulness. Uh, from Saiken. Just an idea. Uh, and see you in the next episode. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.